I'm Mr. James from Charm City Karate. This is our real world self-defense from TV. Uh, it's our third episode of <coughs> the series. Um, today's installment comes from a show uh, with a retired spy uh, helping out one of our intelligence agencies. So here's today's tip and that is you never ever take a drink from somebody you don't know. It might sound a little extreme, but here's the scenario as it happens in the show. Mom walks in with her kid to a birthday party. Uh, she drops him off. A, a guy who says he's the uncle of the birthday boy, one throwing the party, comes up to her and says, Hey, I'm Johnny's uncle. Here, have some punch. She takes the punch. She drinks the punch. She leaves the party. She gets out to her car. And she goes, oh, I don't feel so good. And she passes out. All right? She tries to get out of the car. Thump! Lands on the concrete. When she wakes up, she's in a surgical theater. She's looking up at the lights. Oh, my God! And she tries to move, and oh, she can't move. She's totally restrained, spread-eagled. And here comes the uncle guy. And guess what? He's going to do bad surgery on her. So... Long story short, she dies. Is that extreme? Sure, that's extreme. But are there not bad guys that would do stuff like slip you a roofie? Yeah, there are. Date rape drugs happen all the time. Poison, knockout drops, who knows what they put in there, all right? There's sick people out there that would slip a razor blade in or acid or whatever you just don't know don't take a drink from somebody you don't know all right now let's say you're stupid or you have a bad day or whatever you blow rule one okay you take the drink you sip it and you're going oh, i don't feel good you don't have any of your friends around oh my god if you do have a friend around you go hey i had a drink from somebody i don't know I don't feel right, man. I think they put something in my drink. Your friends take care of you, right? They, they call 911, they get you an ambulance. Maybe they go take care of the guy, who knows. If you don't have your friends around, you get out to your car, you lock yourself in. Huh, you probably have a cell phone. Might not be a bad idea to hit 911. 911, typically on an open line, will send somebody to come and find you. Okay? They don't just go, oh, somebody called and just left the line open. Oh, well, and hang up. They understand that if you are in a life-threatening situation and you call, you might not be able to actually communicate with them. You might pass out or something. So they know to come and trace the call and come and find you to see if you actually need help. Okay? Just like if you slam the phone down and you're screaming. They know that's usually a bad sign. They're going to send somebody to come check it out. All right? But... Avoid all that. Don't take a drink from somebody you don't know. Girls going to college, this is especially for you. Don't take a drink from somebody you don't know. It's not worth it. Let's say, though, that you're at a bar. You have an age to be at a bar legally, and somebody wants to buy you a drink, all right? Because I'm not saying never meet new people, never go out and have a good time. So let's say you're at a bar and somebody wants to buy you a drink, okay? You don't want to trust them coming up and going, hey, have a drink. You say, you know what, really? It's cool, you want to buy me a drink? Well, let's go over to the bar. You can buy me a drink over there. And then you take the drink directly from the bartender. All right? It's not that there's no bartenders in the world that are bad. It's just the number are very, very small because they get fired and thrown in jail very quickly. Much safer to take it directly from the bar tender. Plus, uh, if it's bad, then you know exactly where it came from. Ta-da! The paper trail is very short. Hey, it must have been that bartender guy. All right. So, there's your real-world safety tip from TV for this week. Never take a drink from somebody you don't know. Be safe, and I'll see you next week.